guys, it's good to have you back here on my channel. In today's tutorial, I want to share the best tips there are out there about how to take good care of your hair, how to change your hair game, and I promise you, some tips are life-changing. So stick around if you want to hear more. really dry hair, if you have damaged hair, if you have curly hair, if you don't want to have frizz the next day, um, a satin pillow will do wonders, I promise you. So we have no idea what happens in our sleep, um, but we move our head around and while doing that, we are rubbing the hair against the pillow all the time. So imagine if you do this every single night, especially on the same spot, you will end up damaging your hair badly, like you have no idea. If you use a satin pillow, your hair will slide. And another thing is that it's really good for your skin, especially if you don't want to have any wrinkles. So tip number two, and this is something I've been doing for years now, and I'm so happy about it. I change my shampoo every three months. And I'm gonna tell you why. I promise you, you're gonna like this one. So, when we eat every day, we do not eat the same ingredient, the same fruit, the same vegetables every single day. We try to mix. Why is that? Because we want to give our body different vitamins, you know, different ingredients. I'm sorry, Bailey is snoring all the way. So the same thing goes for shampoos. I believe that every shampoo has different ingredients. And my hair, has different needs every season. So in the winter, my hair is drier and so is in the summer. So I try to, to feel and to listen to what my hair needs. And when I change my shampoo every three months, I'm giving my hair new ingredients to benefit from. So this is something I would really recommend you guys to give it a try. So buy your favorite shampoo, use it for three months, stop, and then buy another one and then use it for three months, stop, and then keep on doing this. And you can use like four of your favorite shampoo and you can use them like four times in a year. And just see what happens. Because as I said before, we do not eat the same ingredients every single day. So why would you give your hair the same treatment, the same ingredients for a very long period of time? It doesn't matter how great the shampoo is, the shampoo doesn't change, but your hair is. Um, drinking plenty of water will make your hair less dry. Like we know, the more water you drink, the hydrated you stay, the beautiful your skin will look like. The same thing goes to your hair. The more water you drink, the less dry your hair will be. So drinking a lot of water will help you to get not only beautiful skin, but also very beautiful and healthy hair. A lot of you ask me, what is the best hair mask? What is the best shampoo? What can I do to make my hair look healthy and strong? What vitamins should I take? But if you want to have a good start and to have beautiful, healthy hair without spending tons of money, it's all about what you eat. You know, sometimes we put so much product in our hair. It's an avocado mask or it's an olive oil. Yes, it's amazing for your hair. Don't get me wrong. It's perfect. But remember, the hair grows from the inside. So everything you eat, your hair is benefiting from that. So eating a lot of fish is amazing for your hair. Eating a lot of avocado, drinking plenty of water, as I said before, all those things makes your hair grow so much stronger, so much faster. You will benefit from having beautiful, healthy hair, not only now, but in the coming years. It's an amazing tip, and I've been doing this for years, and it helps a lot. Uh, every time I go to the sauna, I take my hair treatment with me. And what I do is, I put the treatment in my hair before going in. It doesn't matter whether your hair is washed, clean, dirty, greasy, it doesn't matter. Just put the treatment in your hair and then enter the sauna. And why doing that is because of the steam in the room, the hair follicles will open up very wide 
and the hair will soak the treatment very deep and this makes the whole experience and the whole treatment in your hair very intense and it will make it so healthy, so rich and your hair will benefit from it much more than without the steam. So the next time you go to the sauna, just take your treatment with you, put it in your hair and let it to set in as long as you're in the sauna. And after that, you can wash your hair with shampoo or just rinse it off depending if you wash it before the treatment or uh, not. Trim your hair every eight to 10 weeks. I promise you, your hair will thank you forever. If you do this every 10 or 8 weeks, you will not notice much of a difference and just take like a centimeter or two off max. Um, this will make your hair not only look beautiful, but it will help it to stay and look beautiful for a very long time and it will become a routine. Make it necessary make it something that is really important you know it is really important to have beautiful hair everyone wants that and it all starts with having a good trim every 10 to 8 weeks your hair will grow from the inside and i've said this before so it will grow out and you will, all you have to do is just help the hair by cutting like an inch or two off that's all this might not sound like a tip, it's more of um, something I want you guys to understand because a lot of you are so afraid of hair loss. You are allowed to lose 100 to 150 hairs per day. That's a lot of hair, but it's necessary. So this is how the process of our body works. We lose the hair so we can make room for new, beautiful, healthy hair. Especially if you have long hair and if you have dark hair, the more dramatic it looks. Like one hair strand, if you roll this up, it will look like three or four hairs because it's so long. But when you roll it up, if you look at it, it doesn't look like one hair. So imagine, if you do this with 150 hairs, that will double up. So we are always in shock when we see our hair laying there, you know, after we shower and it's dark and it's a lot of it, it looks more dramatic than it actually is. Have you ever heard someone with really short hair talking about hair loss? Or have you heard your husband or your father or your boyfriend talking about hair loss? Never, and the reason why is because you don't see it. The hair is so short, we do not see the hair laying around. And what I'm trying to say is that the longer your hair is, the more dramatic it looks like when you lose hair. But it's not. It's different on every person, so you cannot compare yourself with your friends, you cannot compare yourself with your sister or your mother, because everyone has different hair types, um, different amounts of hair, um, our body reacts uh, differently to every season. So just don't compare yourself to anyone. Just keep in mind that losing hair is a must and we are allowed to lose 100 to 150 hair per day. Oh, snorky, snorky. The best moment to comb your hair is when you have the conditioner or the treatment in your hair. This will prevent you from pulling the hair or you know trying to go to get those. Let me Google that. <laughs> tangles. So this prevents you from pulling your hair, trying to get those tangles out. So just leave the conditioner to set in for one minute before you brush it. And after that, just gently brush the hair starting from ends, working your way up. The moment you get out of the shower, all you have to do is just run your fingers through your hair and that's it, you're done. Another tip, and this one is really, really important, I get a, a severe allergic reaction when I see someone grabbing their hair towel and they start doing this. I, I, it's like, are you seriously trying to kill your hair on purpose? So I want to spread the word and I want to everyone stop 
doing that immediately what we're gonna do from now on is when you have the towel in your hair we're gonna squeeze the water out gently we're not gonna rub the hair around you know squeeze it hold it a couple of seconds and let it go that's all it's not a fight handle your hair like it's made out of glass gentle careful and with a lot of love so what do you do if you have a Frenchie? All you have to do is make sure to understand that they shed a lot and they are really, really lazy and they love to sleep all the time and they are so relaxed and they snore a lot. They give you so much love and joy and they smell your ear and hair all the time. Really? So I hope you guys can benefit from all these tips. I have also a lot of tips on my blog. Make sure to check that out. Um, thank you so much for taking your time to be here with me. Uh, thank you so much for the amazing comments. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. I will try to answer as much as possible. Um, so I hope to see you next time. Bye. Uh, if you have any question, comment below and let me know what you want to know. That's right. Will help your hair. Will help the whole help and hair. Haha. Ha. Because of the. See? The hair will soak up the treatment perfectly, which makes the whole treatment and the experience of having the treatment in your hair perfect. You know, to 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 Amazing at mm. yes, you. the next. So you go into the sauna. Sauna. I weet het zo goed te zeggen in het Engels. Hair strand.